and welcome back to the channel on this video i got my friend jose hey how's hey, it going Mark. jose he's gonna come for a ride with us and he's got his bike right there uh i'm gonna ask him in just a minute what what it is what is the make of this bike but uh i'm gonna be riding the grizzly of course so let's ask jose jose what is your bike exactly well when i bought it it says lucky i bought it off amazon but when it came it had a, a sign that said benny four on it so i'm not sure which one so it's either benny four or lucky either either or but you can buy it off of amazon so what is the wattage of your uh, uh 750 watts 750 and then what's the uh the peak uh 1500 well that's that's a lot yeah. and uh battery what size battery you got 15 amp hour battery wow and 48 volt right 48 volts yeah. cool flat tire bike and you bought it on amazon is that right yes and what did you pay uh 998 so a thousand dollars that's pretty good for a, for a 750 watt motor a lot of times for a thousand bucks you're gonna get like a 500 watt motor so right. 750 is pretty good right. let's look around the bike for a second headlight and there's the display yeah it looks pretty cool it looks like a folding bike it is a folding bike oh okay so, that's what i thought oh yeah there we go so right here can open the frame and do you ever fold it uh or do you just leave it I don't, but Together. I guess it's, it's a good feature if you want to take it on a train or uh, a coach bus. Oh, uh, yeah. They allow you to put it inside the luggage area. Cool. So it folds down to like a luggage space. So the yeah. battery's in here, and then the controller's in here. Gotcha. And how long have you had the bike? Uh, two months. And so far, what do you think of it? It's been a good bike, except for the keyless function that I told you about. It's a... Uh, it was having issues so i had to eliminate it it would turn off by itself hmm. so the receiver wasn't it wasn't reading it it wasn't reading the fob so I, I completely eliminated the receiver it's been working fine since so other than that one con you've been it's happy been great with after that yep all right well what do you say we uh hop on and go for a ride let's do it okay i will follow you not bad uh, outside today i don't know exactly what the temperature is i think it's like mid 40s maybe it was cool this morning though frosty morning i think it was in the 30s this morning 30 oh no i saw it before i left for work it was 21 degrees so oh, wow. it was pretty cool this morning yeah <laughs> so uh it's definitely warmed up with that sun though this, af this afternoon all right so jose is going to lead the way here so just go straight down here. Looks like rain's moving in off in the distance. I think we're supposed to have rain coming up.
Looks like you have your backpack. Do we have snacks in there for later? <laughs> Straight down. Yep. So it's the next road you'll want to turn left. And then turn right at that stop sign. There's a bike, there'll be a bike uh, path or bike lane, I should say. That's Fisher. We have a bike lane here. Go straight. S 
some good riding over around here. A little less traffic, you know. How was your uh, charge there when you left? Pretty good? Oh, okay. I'm at 71%. I'm at 71%. 71 so it drops off once I get below 80 it seems to drop off pretty quickly yeah that happens to me too yeah that's why usually the last 20% of your battery it takes the longest to charge right because that's the slowest to go down and then the rest seems to go quick Yeah, I've only had it go down to, like, this is a combo of the two batteries. I've had it drop down to 25 is the lowest. I was out riding, and then uh, I, I think I when I left, I wasn't on a full charge to begin with. And so I got, got out there quite a ways riding. And then uh, luckily, though, I made it home without, uh, you know, going too crazy, uh, running too low, I was starting to worry that I might have to uh, just pedal the thing with no power and it weighs too much to do that, you know. So at this stop sign, straight down here, and then at the stop sign, turn left. And that runs right into the park. It'll get you home. Yeah, I mean, especially where I was, there was hills. And uh, some of those hills were monsters, and so I didn't want to, like, coasting down them would be fine, but going up the next one, no way. No way, Jose. <laughs> I had to get that one in, right? So go down this laneway here. It takes you right down to the park, pretty much. Oh, what was that like a 10 amp hour battery or was it more seven. oh wow seven that might be the smallest i've heard of yeah 7.5 uh, wow i heard a rooster did you hear that <laughs> this is a really nice neighborhood. yeah well this this is great for riding around here because there's less traffic and we we don't have a lot of places like that you know you've been here a few months now you know what pretty busy there on some of those main roads there i'll do more extended like further rides when uh, we get into the better weather and stuff I want to uh, get David back on uh, for another ride. Uh, I've been talking to him a little bit there. He's been, he hasn't been riding much, it sounds like, or I don't know if he's been riding even at all lately. Maybe he won't come out in the winter, I'm not sure, but he's been uh, doing other things, so. But we'll catch up with him That'd and go. Out. Yeah, we'll all go out on a ride, and there's a few others that want to do rides too, but um, we'll see. But maybe we can get a mini group ride going. Yeah, that'd be really cool. In the spring. That'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah, that'd be neat. And he's got an Aventon. We'll have a, like a Harley crew. Yeah, a Harley. <laughs> yeah exactly. That bike is beautiful, Mark. Yeah, this, the Grizzly, I'll say, it's, it's an eye catcher. You know, you have a lot of people um, asking questions about it. I still get questions. You know, it's been 10 months now that I've owned it. So if you want to go down there and we'll do a loop around and come out where that truck is. Yeah, yeah, we won't bother going through there now, but there's a, like a track going around it kind of deal. That's so cool. You'll have to come back around here again. Yeah, I will for sure. There's some good riding around. Turn, turn there, yeah. We'll go a little different way going back.
So what is your top speed? Let everyone know what you've gotten to on that bike. Uh, 32. Uh, when you pedal, if you use the pedal assist, 32 is the back setup pedal. And what about just throttling? Uh, 25. 25. Turn down there. That's not bad at all. You know, for that money you paid, uh, you don't usually get too much for that kind of money, you know. So that's uh, some pretty good power right there. It is the old philosophy uh, philosophy where you got to pay, you know, you, you got to pay to get something, you know, Yeah. Something decent, but you get what you pay for. Basically, yes, and uh, a lot of times, a lot of guys will like to uh, buy a bike, and then they start modifying it. But gee, if you already paid, like I paid thirty three hundred for this, how much modifying? You know, you may as well just get yourself a motorcycle or something. You know, like how much modifications? I mean, power wise, not do you need? Like how much? How far do you want to go with it? So on the way back here, we'll go a little different way. Do you want to see a little bit of my power? Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit of the power. When you put keep up with you when you put the second motor on you really get acceleration but like i say watch off the start oh it wants God. to spin out on you that's why i never lead with that motor um because of that you're going to wear your tire for one and secondly you might lose control there you know and uh so i just mostly go with the that's really a beautiful bike so this is the version two. They now have version three. So there, but there's not a lot of difference from what I. Uh, well, I've seen version three before firsthand, but um, you only get one charger, and um, I can't think of too many other things. Like I mean, the one charger, and basically it's the same bike. I can't. There's subtle differences a little bit. I think they said the headlight is better. They've improved the headlight on the other one, but. Um, so if you charge one battery, it wouldn't charge both? I charge both same time. Yeah, so yep. if you charge one, it'll charge both. They both have a separate charging. See, this one charges right here. It's got the small plug. And the back one has the big DIN plug. If you can see back here, it has the big uh, door right there. Oh, nice. So it's a different kind of a plug. I, I'm pretty sure they tr the uh, they're five uh, five amp charges, so that's pretty good. It charges pretty quickly. Have you tried turning it on while charging one and see if it charges both? No, it'll just charge one. It just charges one. It it uses both batteries now. Right. Because I so turn both on. Them. When I when I charge it up, it charges each one charges separate. They're different size oh, batteries okay. too. Oh, that's probably why. This is a 20 amp and this is a 15. Nice. Okay, let's get out of this intersection. So we're going to go down here. If you want to jump ahead, we're going to go down here and then go back down that. So we're going to go straight again at the stop sign down there.
but this next road we're gonna turn left that road right there we're gonna turn left And then at the stop sign, you're gonna turn right, and that'll take us right back to the gas station. Let's wait till we get uh, done, and then we'll we'll do that. Or do you want me to do it on the video? Do a quick ride? No, we're good. Okay. Oh, that's fine. So turn right here. See, a lot of these roads here are only 20 or 25 miles an hour is the maximum speed anyway. So an e-bike, it's absolutely perfect for these kind of roads, you know. It's great for the city. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's like... It's better than the park. It's better. I mean, it's environmentally, you know, we need to get that way, you know, some eventually. And I'm seeing more and more people out on electric bikes. I'm getting questioned a lot. Yesterday, you know, I was, somebody was asking me uh, lots of questions. So that's a good thing, though. You know, they're, and they're, let's face it, they're cool, these bikes. They, yeah. You know, they're, they're hip. They're, they're, they're happening. I used to ride motorcycles, and actually, I enjoy this more than the motorcycle. Yeah, nice and quiet, too. Looper. Yeah, easy, yeah, lightweight. Yep, there's a lot of advantages. It's nice to just be able to plug it in your outlet at home right, too and, exactly. and charge it up. It doesn't cost you dollars and, and you know, like you yeah, had like the gas, right. pennies to charge it. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting year. I want to see what happens. I think there's going to be a big. Uh, big jump in people riding like it's already been happening the last few years you can really notice it i didn't used to see any bikes around here you know i felt like i was the only one but now i'm seeing quite a few more and scooters scooters is the other thing i'm seeing a lot of electric scooters yeah i think best buy has one yeah i'm thinking about getting a scooter as well just a, a small you know Nothing too fancy, just to uh, kind of ride around a little bit. They look they look like a lot of fun. I've not been on one yet, but they sure look like a lot of fun. I'm down to 67 now, percent. See, it just drops off. I guess that little spurt I did probably took a little juice too. Oh yeah, yeah, if I had to pick, I'm gonna pick a bike every day of the week, but just to be different, um, I might get a scooter and mess around on one a little bit. Yeah, scooters have the smaller tires. I know, I know some people that wanna get a scooter because the bikes are expensive and the scooter, they live in an apartment and so the scooter, you can kinda you know, hide away. It doesn't take up the room that a bike does because these right. do take up a lot of room. So I can see that too, where uh, they want to get a scooter it's cheaper, first of all. It is cheaper. And you could basically take it anywhere. If you get on a public transit bus or something, you know, you can get, take your scooter with you, basically fold it down and away you go. I I think there's some good advantages to the scooter that there's there's downsides too. Like, I mean, you're not going to get the distance that you are with these. Your battery is not going to last nothing like this. You're not going to get speed, but jump ahead of me there. I'm going to pull over.
some of those scooters you can pay as much as these bikes you know or more I saw one I saw one guy and I was talking to him one day I can't remember the name of the scooter now but he had two uh, thousand watt motors one in each wheel yeah he said that thing would fly and it was well built it was a it was but um, like it was a bit of a tank like this bike and uh, I think he paid like three thousand bucks then it wasn't cheap if I'm gonna do that then I'm getting a bike exactly. but if it's six or seven hundred dollars that might be okay I think Best Buy has one for five hundred yeah I'm thinking uh, if I was to buy one I think more in the five to seven hundred dollar range is probably where I would go and I would have to do a little research on them because I haven't really done my uh, homework on them as to which one to get we can pull back in on that grass if you want all right well hey Jose that was great that was awesome. thanks for coming on the uh, channel here today Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah, we'll have to do this again. Yeah, for sure. Cool. We'll bring someone else along with us. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to get a little team going here. So I've been asked about that, about doing a group, uh, setting up a group, but it's a lot of work, you know, and, and time consuming with, when you've got a full-time job and you're already got the channel going. So we'll see where it goes though. So uh, once again, thank you for joining me, buddy. And uh, we'll do it again next time. So thank you for joining me today on the video. And don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel. And once again, thank you for joining us today on the channel. Thank you again, Jose. And until next time, take care.